Hi, today we're going to have a demo of SecRMM when using an Iron Key flash drive. So if you're not familiar with Iron Key, looks like a regular USB device, just a little thicker and a little heavier. So let's start our demo. To show you, we'll use SecRMM with out-of-the-box settings, as nothing's been changed. And our event log is cleared and so you can see what's happening in real time we'll use the SecRMM Excel add-in and we'll tell it to receive new events go ahead and plug in the iron key device and when you plug in the iron key device you'll get a pop-up that's going to ask you to run the iron key sign-on program so you have to specify a user ID and password and you'll notice we got two online events and I'll show you I'll show you what's going on there once we sign in. So we're going to authenticate against the firmware on the USB drive and you can see we got another online event as well. So all in total to get the iron key online we got three online events. And once the authentication happens, the operating system looks at the drive just like any other USB device. So you can see here's our iron key, secure files. I made that folder, unclassified documents, but the point is I can now just use it like any other removable media device. Okay, so the last thing is I, I copied a file to the device and then I, I can remove the device. So now for the demo, what I want to just show you is what happened. So the first thing that happened is Iron Key has some programs. It's really two logical drives on one flash. And this is, it treats it like a CD-ROM. This is where that login program came from. So the next thing, and this is the, these next two events are fairly important. The operating system told us that, well, there's a piece of hardware that was plugged into the USB, but it's really not truly mounted. That's because we haven't typed the password in yet. So you can see SecRMM tells you that a security device was mounted. And then once the user puts in the proper password, then we actually get the details about the specific device. And then you can see here's the file that we copied. And then we got the two offline events, right? Because remember, it's really two volumes on one physical piece of hardware. So that's a very short demo of how SecRMM interacts with hardware encryption devices, specifically the Iron Key device. Thank you very much and have a good day.